What I'm about to show you is another one of those forehead smackingly good ideas that really has the potential to change how a lot of you work. It concerns sharpening, not just getting your tools sharp, but a way to efficiently keep them razor sharp all the time. How great would that be? You'll never have to push through a job with a dull tool again because you didn't want to take the time to sharpen. I'm going to apply this idea to straight edge tools and hand planes, such as those used a lot in woodworking, but it could easily be adapted to all sorts of edge tools, even knives. What makes this process different is how fast and effective it is. So to prove it, I'm going to dull this chisel so badly that some of you might shed a tear. Then I'm going to restore it to a razor sharp edge in seconds, not minutes, seconds. As you watch, Keep in mind that there's more going on than what you'll immediately notice. You're going to have to watch to the end of the video to fully understand how I did it and how you can do it just as quickly and easily yourself. So here's my chisel. It's like a lot of chisels in a lot of workshops. The edge has become pretty dull because I don't like to stop working to sharpen it. So by the time I finally do go to the stones, I end up needing to spend a fair amount of time to get it back where it needs to be. Of course, you can't see that it's dull through your screen. So let me remove all doubt. I think we can agree that this chisel is now as dull as anything you're ever likely to sharpen under normal working conditions. This would take me 10, 15 minutes, maybe even a lot more to fix on regular stones. But instead of stones, I'm going to be using my drill press and a couple acrylic discs. These have a machined arbor in the center. I have two of them. One has some 80 grit sandpaper on the bottom and another has 220 on the bottom and a leather strop on the top that's been charged with some stropping paste. You don't have to make these. You can buy a set. They aren't expensive. I'll link to them below this video. I'll also be using a simple wooden jig to keep my chisel aligned and at the proper angle. You can easily build this jig yourself. The plans are even free. I'll put a link to those below as well. The jig simply slips under the disc and my drill press is running at the normal speed I usually use it at. I'm not sure what it was. The whole point is for this to be quick and simple, so I didn't worry about it. I am using a plunging motion to reduce heat buildup, but the sandpaper on the bottom of the disc is not regular paper, so it doesn't generate much heat anyway. I'll explain more about that in a minute. After less than 10 seconds on the 80 grit, I can already feel a heavy burr on the back, which tells me that my bevel is already entirely reground and repaired. So I swap my discs. This time I'm using 220 grit to refine the bevel. I could go higher if I wanted to. You might experiment with some different grits on your own. But again, I end up spending less than 10 seconds on the sandpaper, and I'm ready to remove that heavy burr on the back with the leather strop. I also touch the bevel on the leather, and when I do, I raise the handle up just a tiny bit. This concentrates all the polishing right along that cutting edge. That and the speed of the disc means that I'm doing in about 10 seconds the amount of stropping that would require 10 minutes or more if I was doing it manually. I know it's sharp because I've already nicked myself with the edge. Altogether, the whole process from the first grit to the last stropping takes under a minute. Mere seconds to go from this To this. The key is not really the discs or the straps, although those are essential, but what really makes this work so well is the sandpaper. It's not regular sandpaper. Regular paper is covered with randomly shaped bits of grit, like tiny pebbles. This sandpaper is covered with tiny, precisely shaped ceramic pyramids. Those cut and shave material more efficiently so they build up less heat and they stay sharp a lot longer. I've used radial sharpening systems before and they work fine for the first chisel as long as you're careful not to overheat them. But when you get done with that first chisel, you're changing the paper. The average woodworker though can keep his tools sharp all summer long with one of these Cubitron discs. And remember, you're not going to be pounding on your edges with a hammer. For routine sharpening, you only need one grit and then the strap. So that means about 20 seconds and you're back to work. When it's that quick and easy, you won't put it off and your work will benefit from always having razor sharp tools. 
I'm not telling you to give up your stones or your other sharpening systems. I'm not getting rid of mine. But if you want to try something new, or if you're frustrated with the process that you have been using, give this a try. I'll put links to everything you need below in the video description. I'll also pin them to the top of the comments so you can find that easier on a phone app. I want to thank Mike over at Taylor Toolworks for developing this idea and letting me use it. It's just another one of the reasons that I like to support his family business, and I hope you do too. See you next time.